Hey, hey, hey! Okay, welcome to the stream, everybody! We're here, we're here, we're here. My game just finished downloading the uh, Crown Tundra, so we're gonna go ahead and get in here. We got the little... other way. Team set up here. We're just gonna be bringing in the Slowpoke Boyo. We'll see how that goes. The Slowpoke Boyo that we caught last night on stream. So, let's see how the Crown Dunder looks. Crown Tundra, you have a crown pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station. If you want to visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there, and the blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of yore. Dope. Alright. So first things first, let me just go ahead and swap this out here. Where's our boy? Here's our boy. Girl. My bad. Now, before we do anything, I actually want to go and nickname this. Because we for I forgot to do it on stream yesterday. So let's go nickname our slowpoke real quick. Figured the nickname Daemon, despite the fact that we were saying it as a joke, I figured it would actually be kind of fitting. Now, the other thing I want to look at... What moves do you know? Because this is going to be kind of important. Psychic, Psych Up, Rain Dance, and Heal Pulse. Yeah, let's, uh, let's fix that a little bit. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, can you actually get... Blizzard, okay. Noted. Brian. Dive, dig. Is that Earthquake? Pfft. Jesus. Flanth- Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. We're gonna have the most powerful slowpoke known to man. Yeah, it's just a new area. Ice beam. Like I said, the most powerful slowpoke known to man. Am I caring that I'm possibly wasting all these, uh, TMs? Not really. Do you get scald? That would be, like, a good last move. Do you get scald? You do! Perfect. Perfect. And since you're literally the only mon I'm bringing, and you're uh, you're not gonna have like any IVs or any or EVs or anything, let's give you the Eviolite. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Most busted slowpoke known to man. I have no idea what we're gonna be using. What up, guy? You have a crown pass, too! You can also go to the Crown Tundra! Where would you like to go today? Duh. No shit, we're going to the Crown Tundra. Via train, apparently. No oh, shit. Doesn't look like there's that much, but there could be more at the bottom. Ooh, 
the snow! The snow! This must be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? Gladly. The Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Sweet. Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokedex. Will do. It's been a while since I came back home, but it seems like a lot's changed. It's a lot colder than I remember, and there are so many rockish Pokemon wandering around. Rockish? What do you got? Actually, considering that I'm running Slowpoke and that's literally it, let's, uh, let's get like 15 Pokedolls just in case. Just in case. Alright. I'm cold as shit. <laughs> this is just like me, though. This is just like me, though. Walking around in the snowy hellscape and whatnot in a t-shirt. Yeah, it's about right. Yeah, it's about right. Come on, Dad. Lay off and quit following me already. Who the fuck are you? Who is you? Who are you? Internet's gonna have a field day. I can already tell Internet's gonna have a field day. I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair, and I don't need you bring breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever! This guy. This fucking guy. Yes! I made him Reinhardt for some reason. <laughs> yes! What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Her mouth! What a totally generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I gotta say no thanks. Just the... Her mouth. The fuck? Are y'all good over here? Yo. Come on, Nia, be reasonable. Or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed. As I unleash the noble roar of dad. <laughs> what the hell am I looking at here? You know, I just kind of realized that I'm kind of covering up the dialogue box here. Let me let me let me fix that. We're gonna have some uh, we're gonna have some uh, live editing. You're not seeing any of this shit. Nope, you're not seeing nothing. This this man is. That guy, let me tell you what. Holy shit. Let me just move all these. There we go. That's a little better. There we go. The noble roar of dad. Gah! I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. The noble roar of dad. Excuse me, hello, yes, you, the boy over there. Me boy? My dad is stubborn as steel and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Huh? Sure. Brilliant! Have a great time with this geezer, then. Now hold on, lad. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Can't say I approve of you buttoning in blindly. But if I just give you a trouncing, this young lady here ought to see you ought to see the reason. The name's Peony. Brace yourself. I'm pretty ferocious in battle. I'm about to get my ass beat, aren't I? Because I just brought the one slowpoke. 
this guy! His music! Okay, hang on. I gotta mute the background music we had set here. This man's music, though! Holy shit! <laughs> what you got? Oh no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Aren't you a brave one picking on- OH GOD! <laughs> oh boy, I underestimated this! <laughs> I underestimated this. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all, but watch out. Next time it's my turn. Oh. Oops. <laughs> so we in the industry call it call it yikes. Oh, oof. Oof, it just continues. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a bit of fight in you, but you're still soft. Mm -hmm. She fucking dipped. My darling daughter's disappeared. Where have you gone now, my sweet Nia? <laughs> this guy. Darling daughter, huh? Of course. My Nia's the sweetest, darlingest daughter a dad could ask for. I got my ass beat. <laughs> I got my ass trounced. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip. First one in ages. And now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, makes him a decoy, and legs it. That's my dear Neo for you. This guy. <laughs> That's just her backward way of showing her papa she loves him. <laughs> yeah, huh? Is it? That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Sure. Still... Without her, I can't start this adv adventure of legendary spots I've planned for us. She mentioned she mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants a good old Papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry, cause I'm not one for wasting time. Which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for a fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Careful where you poke your head in next time. This guy. This fucking guy. Alright, so I'm gonna need to, uh... Sixty-nine. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting level 70s. Knowing Pokemon, I was not expecting level 70s. I'll just give him one of these. There we go. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. So, we're gonna go here... And we're gonna grab someone else from our squad from last time to, you know, we'll grab, we'll grab Poe. We'll grab Poe. Why not? We'll grab Poe. We'll grab Poe. Yeah, let me put Poe in the layout. Let me put Poe here in the layout.
<laughs> Holy shit. I was not ready to get my ass beat like that, though. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Alright, let's get this boy here. There we go. There we go. Holy shit, I was not ready for that. We'll just have Poe here for now. I don't plan on, like, using him the whole time. Or just, just to catch up on the slack. Pilot Swine. That's already in the game, isn't it? I think it is. Slow poke. Slow poke. Ah, uh, shit. I was not prepared. Yeah, slow poke's already in the game. Yeah, right. This might have been a mistake. Small blue. Hey. Was that an Aurora? Or an Amora? Is there just whole ass fossils just walking around? Alright, man, I might do that. Is there just whole ass fossils just like walking around and shit? Huh. Okay. Crit catch. Hell yeah. Huh. Swablu, the cotton bird Pokemon. Since Swablu looks like a cumulus cloud, Foes can have a hard time finding it. Apparently, its wings turned out turned white over many generations. Let's go grab this Amora. Have I used Amora in a playthrough? I feel like I have, but at the same time, I'm not positive. At the same time, I'm not sure. I'm just going to quick ball it. I have. Okay. I have indeed used it. I have a list of Pokemon I've used because I tend to gravitate towards ones I haven't. Can you live a Psychic? I mean, you light screen, so I'm assuming you're going to be able to live a Psychic. I'm just assuming. Oh yeah, you tanked a Psychic. Me use scald. Let me go for scald. Tanking this shit. Damn. I don't know, maybe I'll use a more Aurorus again. Cause why not? That sounds like a nice idea. Don't kill me. Please. Ooh, the burn. It's a dive ball. Let's try that. Try a dive ball. A one. Fuck. <laughs> well, Slowpoke went back. Poor Slowpoke. <laughs> Poor Slowpoke.
balls do I have? I'm just throwing ultra. Fuck it. Fuck it! <clears throat> Okay, I celebrated too early. That's on me, I guess. It'd be like that. Yo, why am I having such a hard time catching this thing? <laughs> why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be like this? Get in the ball, bruh. Bro, what is Amora's catch rate? What the hell? What is Amora's catch rate? Forty-five. Damn. Crit catch. That's what we needed. Definitely what we needed. Just go ahead and yep. Let's come and get some of these evolutions going. This Pokemon has a kind disposition, but it, if it's provoked, it will threaten opponents with swirl, shill cries before attacking them without mercy. Sure. Can learn Dragon Pulse. That's fine. How does Amora evolve again? Is it like level... It's like level 30-something at night, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, I don't think we'll... I don't think we'll use Amora. Mime Jr. Okay. I don't know why you're here, but all right. I need to heal. That's what I need to do. I need to heal. I just kind of want to look around for a bit. Snom! Snom! The boy! He's friend shaped. Snom again! Snom! Oh, Jinx is back. Neat. Jinx is back. Coolio. Crit catch. We take those.
I will do that momentarily. Because I don't want to put my friend code up on the screen. You don't let me run the fuck away, I swear. Thank you. Hmm. Alrighty. Let us press on. Cryogonal! Come here, you coin shaped boyo. Tis the dinner plate. The dinner plate. Getting the ball, dinner plate. That works. Another Mora. Aha! This must be the Max Lair that Neil was talking about. Which means my darling daughter is in there right now having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. Okay. Right, just you hold on, Neil, my dear. Here comes Papa! So great. I love this character. Best dad. Ought to know. Come here, you. 10 out of 10. Ought to know. Ought to know, best dad? No, P and E, best dad. Crit catch! How many crit catches have we had today? Three? Is that the third one? I think that's the third one. Place is inhabited. Freezington? This place is called fucking Freezington? Orb Orb. This feel just said Orb Orb. Hello, Sphiel. Yes, I love you. Stop talking to me, though. Our village may not be the liveliest place, but do have a relaxing stay and enjoy the sights. I suppose there's not much to see besides that old statue, but enjoy the one sight anyway. <laughs> it's a fucking Cosmog! Excuse me? It's a Fucking whole ass Cosmog! What? It's cold outside, dearie. Why not stay a little while and get warmed up? Oh, that's Floofy! What? <laughs> I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know. I think it was just about when I found Fufui that other strange Pokemon began appearing in the tundra. I've never seen a Pokemon like Fufui before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it, if only I could find a dependable one. Me! Me! Pick me! Uh, 
I want it. Give it to me, damn. Give it to me. <laughs> me, bitch. Come on. Man. Obviously, it's going to be one of those things where it's come back after you beat the DLC. Jesus. But yeah, obviously, it's going to be like one of those things. Come back when you beat the DLC and you can get the Cosmog. Obviously, that's what it's, what it's going to be. But like... I wanted it now. <laughs> Welcome to Freezington. It might just have been quite a journey to get here. The Crown Tundra is famous for carrots, you know. Carrots? Maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir. Yes, please. Ho ho ho! Quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Oh, I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. How about a trade? You bring me eight pieces of dianite ore, and I'll give you the seeds. Oh, life is about quid pro quo. Frid qu quid pro go, or whatever the phrase was. What the hell? It's a statue of a Pokemon. Somehow it feels it's, as if it's missing something. What the fuck is that? Why does it look dead inside? Utility umbrella? Umbrella to be held by... An item to be held by a Pokemon. This sturdy umbrella protects the holder from effects of rain and harsh sunlight? What? That's cool as shit. There's a build -em. That's cool as shit. They got, like, anti-weather item. i assuming it's just one of those, like, hey, put it on Toxicroak if there's, like, sunlight or whatever. And therefore, it won't get damaged via its dry skin. Or, like, hey, you have the sun up. Make it so your water-type moves don't get decreased. I'm assuming this is Peony's house. But just what the fuck? Anti-weather items, though. That's cool as shit. Ooh, a TM. Junk shot. Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way out there yet. Not yet. That's a little much. Door is locked. Seems you can't get in just now. Mayor's house. Okay. I got like, I got like the freaking hotel in uh, Diamond and Pearl flashbacks. Every year the cold seems to bite harder. It's getting to be too much for these old bones. When you're trudging through snow, you've got to really stamp down with your heels. Helps you helps keep you from face planting in the snowdrift. Our youngins have gone off to live in the big city. It's tough for us old folks getting by with only our Pokemon. Old dude. Try to get this item. Charcoal. Neat. Nah, it's just a snowbird. Just a snowbird. Shit, drop my controller. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Whoa, get away from me, about my snow. I don't want to deal with these. Oh, Lord, he coming. He was on his fucking way. All right. All right. Enough screwing around. Let's uh, let's go do the let's go do the thing. What 
is that? Stam! I'm assuming it was the pilot's wine. Cosmic power. <clears throat> Can't wait to teach that to my Cresselia. <laughs> ah, it's still such an awful decision. Diagonal. All right, let's go in here. Okay. Please, sir, I can't let you... Oh, I think you can. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I, don't w and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. <sighs> You'll... Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Something the matter? Nothing's all right. Everything's the matter. This mega, ultra mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my way. Numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril. I'm afraid, and... Yeah, I've got no patience for standing here, listening to you raffle on the fine print. <sighs> We're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you, simply listen... Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow you two to enter as a pair. Sure. Aha! Now you're talking! Go on, then. Let's hear what this good lady's got to say. This man... And then we'll go find my little girl, my little Nia, right? Right. God, he's so weird. <laughs> I've got wonderful items to offer you in exchange for Dynite Ore. Fucking Beast Balls? Ability Patches? This is the hidden ability item. This is the hidden ability item. I'm gonna need me one of them later. We have Pokemon helping us out with our investigations, too, you know. Ooh. Alright, lady, what's up? Are you ready to hear my explanation about Dynamax Adventures? Sure. That's what I'd like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well, then I will proceed. The Max Lair is a labyrinthine underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Shit. <laughs> One more team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with him on their adventure. As you explore this den, you will come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a Max Raid Battle. Catch the Pokemon, and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on into the depths of the den. Aww. To avoid the risk of Galar Particle overexposure, which, you can cause, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the Particle's effects. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar... Losing controls, the Pokemon sent some po rent some particles. And we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. Oof. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you've got a firm grasp of the rules. Alright, we got you, we got you, we got you. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right! Sounds like this is a, all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on ahead and get it cracking. This guy. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia. This guy. This 
fucking guy. Sir, no, I've just told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> What's going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the chairman at all. Is he his brother or something? Well, when you're ready to go chase him down... <sighs> Pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. What the hell? <laughs> what is this shit? Alright. What's up? If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will pride you with a Dianite Ore as a reward. I'll also allow you to keep one, just one, of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Would you like to embark on a Dynamax adventure? Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm afraid. You're still new to Dynamax adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now. Just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite s some friends to join you. Alright, that's fine. I'll go myself. Okay. Eldegoss with Effect Spore. Light Screen, Weather Ball, Cotton Guard, and Leaf Storm. Marowak with Battle Armor. Bone, Bone Meringue, Throat Chop. Oh, I have the... Ah, uh, Marowak. Marowak, Girder, Chansey, and Frostmoth. This is an interesting team. Alright, so we got ground, fighting, normal, ice, and bug. There's a water up there. Uh... This is probably the best bet. What we got here, fellas? Trio, trio, trio. Trio, trio, trio. Alright. Bug it. For all those coming in, just now coming into the stream, how's it going? How you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Him mouth. Or her mouth. My bad. Frostmoth, no... Coaching. <laughs> oh lord. Alright. This is about to hit like a truck. Do you have barriers? Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Okay. Shit. Who are you hitting? Girder, no! Okay, he living. He living. Did we get healed by the end of this, or what? Fucking hurricane, lol. Heal pulse. Nice. We got a nice little support group here. Nice little group of support. Ah, we replaced the girder with the Doug Trio. Okay, do we want to go to... N 
What are some of those? Okay, that's a Cedra. Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh... Normal, I guess. We got two ground types. We don't want to go to, we don't want to, go to ice. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we don't heal. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. This is this got a lot more interesting. Okay. So a couple things that are on my mind right now. I cannot. Dynamax right now. I don't know if I'll be able to Dynamax by the time we get to uh, the water type, whatever. The end. Uh, it's a water type thing. We have two ground types. That's not good. And we don't heal in between these. Nice. Okay. Please land. Alright. Those Frost Moth ain't working too well for us so far. I don't want this fairy type. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take us not having a second ground type. Poison, poison. Three poisons. What is that right there, though? Let's go here. This is so interesting. I like this. This is really neat. The boy! Okay, I'm gonna swap this. I'm gonna swap Marowak out for this. I have not played Slay the Spire. Okay, I'm definitely gonna swap uh, Marowak out for this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Chancy, no! That's not good. That is definitely not good. Definitely not a good thing. Uh, specifically just because of what's to come. I'm going to throat chop. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh wait, Chansey got thrown back out. Can Frost Moth, can you land a fucking hurricane? Please. <laughs> For once. For once. Dude. <laughs> Man, land and attack. Thank you. Thank you. 
Jesus. All right. I'm snagging this. I... Great ball, I guess. I don't know if it matters. I'm honestly not sure if it matters. Juan. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. Okay. I don't think it matters what ball you use. I think you just catch it. Yeah, I want to swap. I'm not bringing a ground type to just whatever this water thing is. I've had some berries lying on the ground. Yes! What is this? This music. The boy is fucking Suicune. <laughs> look, look at this thing. The music. Hell yeah. I'm gonna grass pledge. Wait, what's grass pledge's power? 80? Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do that. Liquidation. Another hurricane was landed. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Okay, we need that. We need that. That's good. We need that. Definitely. Really, fellas? Alright, I'm gonna Dynamax. Which one's gonna hit harder? This one. Okay. This is needed. This is definitely needed. Does it matter? What, uh, do I actually have to catch the legendaries? Like, is that actually gonna have, like, actual catch rates? Or do, is it just gonna be, like, throw ball keep? Rah. One hundred percent catch rate. I sure freaking hope so. I sure hope so. Heal pulse, nice, nice. Oh, I'm oh I'm dive balling it. Oh, that's a guarantee. Oh, absolutely. If it's one hundred percent catch rate, I'm dive balling it. One hundred percent. I have to freaking kill it first. That was a crit. That was a crit. Oh god, now I'm just gonna gain health back. Shit. <laughs> Substitute. This Jigglypuff ain't doing shit. It ain't doing shit. This Jigglypuff is throwing. Yes, the helping hand is necessary. Very much appreciated. Struggle bug. Okay. Some kind of damage. Ooh, we might needed that. We might have needed that. Actually, no, it's using liquidation. It's using physical moves. Ooh! That helping hand. Hog. Fake tears! I mean, okay. Oh, I know that lowers special defense. I mean, okay. That's that's all right. I'm doing special attacking damage. That's fine. That's fine. Because it's my last turn with that anyway, so I have to make that count. Extreme speed. Water pulse. Oh, wait, that light screen. Okay. That light screen. Oh, the confusion. Weather ball. This Frost Moth has been doing jack shit. It's been doing jack shit. It's time. Let's test this theory. Let's test this theory. A 
one. A two. A three. Yeet, fellas. Yeet. We got him. We got him. <laughs> yeah, okay. Which one would you like to keep? You handed over the Pokemon you rented and the Pokemon you didn't select to the scientist. Uh, nine Dynite Ore. Investigated in the den. Oh, okay. Caught a very special Pokemon. So how many did I get in total? Suicune has been added to the party. Do we just use Suicune? Do we just whole ass use Suicune? I'm tempted. I'm not gonna lie. Do we just whole ass just use Suicune? Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for the for a Dynamax adventure too? Wicked! I guess we're on the same wavelength. Peonia. I had I had to like actually like look at that name for a second. It's like how the fuck do you pronounce this? I'm Peonia. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? Watcher. Is this some kind of like British dialect that I don't know? Is this some kind of like British joke? I don't know. What the fuck does that mean? Wow, what a perfect name for you. It really suits you. Thanks. So is my dad on his way here too? Haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mudbray. Things go all right after I left? Yeah, he kicked my ass. Because I brought one slowpoke. <laughs> what? You held your own against my... You held your own against my old man? I mean, if you want to word it like that. If by you held your own means got my ass kicked by, sure. <laughs> Oh god. That was a mistake. It was such a mistake. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he'd planned for us to check out the local legends on this super intense adventure tour, or adventor, he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? Oof. Oof. It'd be like that. Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. The internet's going to have a field day with this one. Just putting that out there. Just thinking about it gets me pumped. <laughs> you know what? I've just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? I bet you you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventor. Oh, no. <laughs> Is this how we get roped up in all of this? Rather not, thanks. Sounds like great fun. Too right it does. It's a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up about all of this, it'd be a shame if just to leave him on his own. I'm telling you, the internet's just gonna have a field day with this one. They always do. <laughs> and who knows, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. I mean, I... I just did. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Lair? Go on, then. Enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Please don't call it that. <laughs> Please do not. Tell my old man the deal and all that. Okay. Help. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> Okay, 
So, real quick, I want to take a look. To, oh, Jesus, I forgot I had all these other mons. I'll item. Uh, put it back in your bag. It's modest! It's modest! Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, we're using this. Oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely using Why are all of his moves physical? <laughs> Why are all of his moves physical? What the hell? Why? Eh, let's just check out the rest of them. I got a modest one. Neutral. Okay. It's kind of, it's not that great. All right, we're using the Suicune. <laughs> we're using the Suicune. All right, I'm going to put... I'm going to put Poe back in the box. I'm going to put Poe back in the box. We're going to get rid of Jinx. I could use Cryogonal. I'm not using Audino, but I could use Cryogonal. Eh, why not? Let's use Cryogonal. Why not? Why not? Alright, so let me gather up some things here. Since we're changing up the team a little bit. So we're swapping some stuff out of the team. And okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and save our game. What is... What the hell is this man doing? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Ugh, it hurts. It mega... Ultra mega hurts. Nia. Where's my darling Nia? Are you alright? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Uh, Sandy. Uh, what happened? You ran inside and slipped on an ice cube. That's <laughs> what happened. <sighs> Adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that first head. First head now. First hand, I mean. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks. Look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? There we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down for long. That kip's got me failing right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, here's how it went. Hmm. You don't say. He does look like Chairman Rose. He does look like Chairman Rose. So, Nia's set on staying away till she's had her fill on this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go on ahead and get cracking on our grand peony adventure. You know, kid, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best 
interniary I could use for my dear Nia's sake. I, I, I think I spelled said that right. I, I doubt it highly, actually. But I guess she's at the age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to press her into doing what I want. What I want to do probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, Blaine! My name's Peony! Wait, have I already told you so? <laughs> this guy. This fucking guy. Then it's twice as nice to meet you. This dude. I got Peony's League card. Alright, I need to look at this now. Let's have ourselves a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be itching to join in on the fun. Yes, let's. What the hell? Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just to what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> this guy. We're gonna have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So it's decided. Now then, let's get ourselves to Freezing Town. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventor. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say let's us I say let us reconvene post haste. Ha! Just pull in your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked like that? Yeah! <laughs> He's so weird. I need to look at his lead card. I need to look at this. I need to see this right now. This dude! This dude! Peony is a former Steel-type gym leader. His powerful and dynamic battle style meant that anyone, anyone stuck on a pitch maintenance... Stuck on pitch maintenance had their work cut out for them. To this day, he is known as Steel Peony as, and has many fans. I cannot read today. Especially among men. Okay. I don't know why they felt the need to include that, but all right. Uh, this photo is actually a composite photo made before Peony came to the town tundra. It was originally a poster Peony stuck in the travel planner he made for his daughter. Bro. But she threw it away in short order. No! <laughs> Nia, you bitch! <laughs> you absolute bitch! Peanut liked it the way it looked and decided to use it for his league guard. He's so dumb. He's so dumb. Oh my god. He's great. His daughter does not deserve him as a dad. Look at him run. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's booking it. He was booking it. Holy shit. Just random ass Amora just in the wild is really weird to me. Alright, I need to look. How many Pokemon are actually in this DLC? Oh wait, no, I'm in. I'm in alphabetical. Mm. By number. Ooh. Okay. We have a lot to go here. Okay. Oh. What was it telling me to go look for? Curious. Oh, I think it was just showing me uh, location of a mod. Never mind. That was telling me to go look for something. Have you found this DLC's version of collecting 150 diglets? I have not, and I do not look forward to it. Hello, hello, what have we here? Another visitor? 
I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezington. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Sure. Ah, never mind. It be hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of our region. Which, which is a bit of a shame, really. Turns out, people come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a m mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. Boat neck sweatshirt. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeliness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite well as we'd had hoped. We got a fair number left over. The illustrations based on an extremely ancient account of the King's appearance. Hence the unusually sized head. We thought it would make, might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by the fields in the corner of our village. By the way, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Yes. Farewell for now, then. Did they fix this any? Oi! The all. Over here, Blaine! And then he walks inside his house. Ah, look at him! Oh my god. He's trying his best. Who the fuck are you? Bread. I'm good, thanks. Alright. I need to do it. I need to do it. Oh my god, he's majestic. Oh shit. Come along now. Just, just popped out of fucking nowhere. He just, he just popped into existence. Where did he go? What the? F okay, so to answer my question, no, they did not fix this. <laughs> Quite obviously. Yikes. Big, yikes. Aha! Here you are. This little pocky, this pocky little place will be our lodgings. Fuck is that? But as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about, Blaine. Let me tell you about what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, we, they've got a fair few strange... And mysterious legends. For example, a huge headed Pokemon with the King of Bountiful, known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention a massive red tree with legendary fly and Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great Hulk and dot faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. This guy. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we found just as much, just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is a grand, noble, magnificent goal. <laughs> this guy. Of course, if I had it my way. I've been doing this with my darling Nia. 
He's trying his best. But who knows, they say even chancy meetings can lead to blissfully full, blissyful friendships. So here's to a grand adventure, ex Expedition Chief Blaine. Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia would come home for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in this room, pining for her papa. Gah! Nope, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be... I'll be the hold down the fort, chief. So in other words, he wanted to do this with his daughter. His daughter's... His daughter ditched him, made me do it, and now he's ditching me and letting me do all the work. Is what he's getting at here. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief, Blaine. Ha 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 ha! This guy. Which brings me to this. Go on. Have it. Now I get to look the part. <laughs> look at that. Fits you like a glove. I bought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia would have a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. So did he give me, did he give me a girl's uniform then? Because all the ones he bought extra for were for his daughter? Do uniforms like, like this even have specific genders? I don't know. Man, I hate technology. Same. And if you ever need to change or have a, or have a kip, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. Okay. I've got some different colored scarves in, in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit. Different colored scarves? Mm. Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1. A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony. An old photo is attached to it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on his head. But the wooden statue near the fields near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Don't trust the closet. LOL Legendary Clue 2. What the fuck? What is this scribble drawing? Hey, Ray Dragon 2. Thanks so much for the follow. But the legendary... What the fuck is this, like, third grade color drawing? Did you make this, Peony? Is this your drawing skills? If so, same. Moving on. Far, into the, far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door, there are strange words. Let the Mon change one. The door remains firmly shut. What the fuck? Electric Boogaloo. What the fuck are these? Sunken in the side of Snow Slide Slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door are the strange word. Wa together living or er, iving stall of snow. The door remains firmly shut. Near where the green melts, near where green meets snow in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let out note wake giant eel. The legendary giants are okay. On the distant paths of 
three-point pass lies a temple where two giants sleep on the temple's door of strange words. We re door all be and door remains firmly shut. Mm. Obviously, it's a Chinese food place. Soup kitchen? What are these third grade drawings? When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down onto a tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. They're the legendary of clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telly watching. First off, why not have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests? Seems like this king bonds with his loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... Oh no. The Sacred Bonds of the Sovereign and Steed! What was the... Why did it spin onto the screen? What the fuck was that? What was that? <laughs> This is the best character. This is the best character. Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh my god. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the woods. Or woods village. I found a Dratini. Nice. Though its head isn't massive as in my isn't as massive as in my notes. No. It cold. Ah, I just had an idea. Dude. <laughs> Here's a little something to help you out. Again. Christ! <laughs> Give me a whole ass fucking master ball okay damn all right guy Shh, i still don't trust that closet you and me both this is supposed to be the, the one ultra mega corker of a ball use it whenever you think you ought to it's got a i got it ages ago from somebody i used to know never could bring myself to use it though if you ever get a if you ever get a bit turned around come see me Come on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for just the look for adventure and crew flag out. I bleh, cannot speak. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventure and clue flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. Oh my god, this guy man's way of speaking though right okay i need to check and see did it say that like he wrote he drew these and has unique draw okay yeah now he he definitely drew these he definitely drew these what is this This thing is obviously carved out of stone and or wood. And did you just say it's a pillow? You rest your head on this shit? Hey, chief, my pillow's got your eye, eh? Your pillow? Oi, listen here, chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. Uh... Story-wise, I'd say, well, I've been, the stream's been going for about an hour and a half, but I've just been, I've been, like, low-key fucking around for, like, 20 minutes or so, so about, like, an hour or so in. This guy. Unfortunately, I went off and left my favorite pillow back at home, so I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on, and I found this back in the inn. Can I have it? May I see it? C come off it! His hat, his hard hat tilted. What the hell? You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? D it is, it is a rock. That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Hmm. What's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with the legendary Pokemon? 
Yeah, Ultra Mega, seriously? This is just some old thing I found. May I see it? No. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? <laughs> he does not look happy. He does not look happy about this. For all those just coming into the stream, hi, how's it going? Welcome, enjoy your stay. His other favorite pillow is a bear trap. <laughs> yeah? All right, all right, go on then, have it. But you'd better make sure you track that legend down. Gladly. I wonder if the horse is actually a legendary or anything. Do any of you... Oh, it's... okay, first off, it's made of wood. It's made of wood, not rock. Little better, I guess. Uh, to those who, of you who know anything, do not spoil it in chat, please. Just felt like I needed to put that out there. A mysterious object made of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. Oh my god. Can I change my scarf? I want to know what this was talking about. Change my armband. Yes. Exploration team's color. Normal. Fire. Water. Electric. Can I get poison? Did that give me a purple one? No. It gave me a green... Bro, <laughs> how does how does gr how does poison equal green? When th wait, did they not have a grass type one? Oh no, they're it's a, then what the fuck? Fine, give me the ghost type one. That'll be purple, right? Please. Thank you. I just wanted a purple one. Get out of there, SpongeBob! <clears throat> I hope y'all are enjoying the voice I am giving this guy. They're finally, they're like finally showing me like all there is to see and whatnot, I guess. Go to this ugly looking statue. Jesus, I forgot you were behind me. It's a statue of a Pokemon. But somehow it feels as if something's missing. It looks like the wooden crown could fit onto the statue here. Do you want to try fitting it on? Yes. Russell, Russell. Schwunk. <laughs> it looks so dumb. The wooden crown fit perfectly onto the statue. Huh? Does it want you to follow it? I guess it do. Uh... Yo! This can't be. This can't be the battle. This can't be the battle. That'd be too way too easy. Look at the triforces on its little orbs. He's so small. We're doing this already? It seems as if the mysterious Pokemon wants to test your strength. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? I forgot to change Suicune's moveset. The music. A nerve. Okay, obviously this isn't the, like, the actual, the actual thing, like... Can I catch you? I have high doubts. It won't let its guard down. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh, 
Oh no. Is this my only mod? Oh, okay, I was about to say, holy shit. I love the winter in some areas and summer in others, right? This music, though. Aren't you healing me, then? Yeah, I was about to say, um... Okay. Alright, man, thanks for coming out. What level is this thing, like... I don't want to throw in cryogonal. Maybe we'll drop the sweet goon. I don't know. We might. We might drop the sweet goon. Because I was thinking to myself, the only reason I kind of wanted to use the sweet goon is because, like, I haven't used sweet goon in a playthrough before. But then I remembered I played Pokemon Coliseum. So, yes, I have. So, I don't know. We might drop the sweet goon. That was a crit. Damn. He approves. Did you have fun? I can't understand a word it's saying. <laughs> like, it's just, bro, what are you trying to say? Oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, chief? Were you having a Pokemon battle? Dude, if you scare this thing away, I'm personally kick your ass. Huh? What a massive noggin! screen capping that that's fucking hilarious what the hell <laughs> thumbnail potential thumbnail potential what the fuck is happening ah uh, yes a sturdy body just as i expected did he take over his did he take him over did he possess him 
I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Chief P, any? An understandable reaction, but the answer is no. I am Calyrex. I am the one known as the King of the Bountiful Heavens. Heavens? Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude for you f to you f for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength. And now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. I want to know what this horse is. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. Statue. I almost said statute. That act has returned some strength to me. At least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind hearted human child, I have a favor I must ask of you. This <laughs> is floating. What the fuck? Why? I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish to wish you to speak to the villagers, and if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests, I have tried asking them myself, you understand. But they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature, flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind hearted human, I beg you to help me. You jotted down the current status on Legendary Clue 1. Calyrex appeared once I placed the crown on the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvests. Calyrex can apparently speak to humans by talking by taking over a person's body. Peonies, in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the King of Bountiful Harvests from the people of the village. Okay. Let's get speaking. Yo. Bitch. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. Karen? Karen, is that you? Karen? This fucking... Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, okay, this is just the, the walking person. Turn the walking option off person. King of Bountiful Harvests. I used to believe it was real, you know. I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the king would steal my body away. The Pokemon King? Oh, sure. My gran used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale, that. Well, two people remember it, at least. Is that a double? King of Bountiful Harvests. Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? Damn, dude. go that way yet. Mr. Mayor. Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvests? Why, of course I do. It's the only main, it's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely Frasington, after all. I love how they didn't let me go into this guy's house, by the way. And now they stuck him in front of the door. Did they just not code the inside of the mayor's house? 
Okay. I imagine we will we would see more visitors if only the king were real. You've asked the people of Friesington about the King of Bountiful Harvests. Time to report back to Calyrex. <laughs> ah, human child. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? They did, but... Hmm. It is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten about the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? Oh no, of course I am not grieving. I am the king of bountiful harvests, after all. I know better than to count on the humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I simply cannot rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I have lost. Your loyal steed? Is that a Pokemon? That's the question I want to know. Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that used to uh, that I used to ride across the land. What is this? I want to know what this is. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, in ancient times, we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys over and over the mountains of this land. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I not, I know not where it may be. Even if I, I, we should exceed in locating my loyal steed, I have doubts as to whether it will, has remained well loyal. I've lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not-so-loyal steed. I would be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. Again? If you are able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. <laughs> uh, chief, what a massive noggin! Or, wait, no, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. He's so weird. <laughs> Still, I feel strange, like my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back inside, back into the base, and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap up today's stream with that. We'll be continuing this more tomorrow, because basically what I am doing here is we're just going to just do these, like, kind of episodically, and I'm going to post them up on YouTube afterwards. So, that's gonna be it for today's stream. Thank you all for coming out. I truly appreciate the support and everything. Be sure to go subscribe to my YouTube, Gemini Meastics. And if you're there on YouTube now watching this after the fact, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more content. This will be continuing to go up uh, periodically throughout the week. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.